Previously on Let's Play Zombie. With Dexter Moore unable to progress, a new player takes center stage. Military Man is a veteran of the zombie apocalypse, with over a hundred confirmed kills to his name and over four hours survived. Can he get the generator up and running? Wasting little time, he picks up the fuel, and without letting anything distract him, he is soon back at the safe house, ready to refuel the generator. Hooray, military man. You really got it done where Dexter Moore couldn't. Now is the time for military man to head out to save a survivor in need. He heads over to the church, taking a route through the sewers, carefully planning his every movement. That's off to you. I didn't think you'd last this long. With Military Man unable to progress, a new player takes center stage. Single Parent is a single parent with zero confirmed kills and no experience. He quickly makes up for his shortcomings, launching headfirst into adventures, leveling up, toughing it out through immense challenges, fighting to the very last breath to survive every hardship. Charlotte Lloyd was always a driven woman. Ever since she was a little girl, she'd been a dentist. As her mother would always say, our child is somehow a practitioner of dentistry. How strange. Now, here she stands before us, naked, proud, virulent, and ready, nay, demanding to explore this blood-soaked wasteland called London. With gumption and limitless metal, she tears through the zombified corpse of single parent with no hesitation. His broken, mangled body, an apt illustration of how thoroughly Charlotte Lloyd obliterates her challengers. So hungry for victory, she is like a giant, unquenchable maw, suckling at the teats of glory, inhaling skin and bone like some perverse vacuum cleaner, sucking up power, gore, and gristle until there is nothing left but the swollen, shapeless, bloated, titanous, savage form of the all-consuming mother, Charlotte Lloyd. The fuck was I smoking when I wrote this shit? God damn it. So fucking weird. Charlotte Lloyd, dentist. She's been alive for ten minutes. You can stash your weapons, ammo and supplies in there. You can't carry everything while you're outside, but a well-stocked cache will give you options before you set off. So drop whatever you want in it. Yeah, um... So what happened in my attempts to fix the game-breaking glitch? Well, I got the generator working. It seems like everything's okay with that. Uh, the last um, thing that I remember um, the fuck is wrong with my brain? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, the last thing that I why did I start that sentence? I don't know how it ends. Um, what the fuck am I am I trying to say here? Is that something I can pick up? Hey John, I'm sorry, but I just don't think we're going to agree on this point of interpretation. You seem dead set on a scorched earth reading of the BP, whereas I, and Ron, and many of the others, see it more as a warning that we need to help people, not stand by and watch as it happens. I know you're angry with me and Ron for arguing with you at the last meeting, but I hope you can see that we're just advocating a better safe than sorry approach. It's like global warming. If we're wrong, well, at least we tried to make the world a better place, and no harm done. But if we're right, and we don't act quickly, we're putting the whole planet in danger. I wish you could see that. 
We're not trying to shut you out or shout you down like you suggested. I know you said those things in the heat of the moment, but even if you didn't mean them, they hurt. Your experience is invaluable to us. That's why I was asked to recruit you in the first place. But we're not children, and we do understand your point of view. We just disagree. The Council has asked me to suggest you take some time off from the meetings, because they don't feel you're being productive right now. I'm not going to do that because I still love you, and know how much being excluded from the Council would frustrate you. But I agree this fatalist agenda isn't productive. I'm about to leave for Clermont-Ferrand to see what I can dig up in their library about the Physici, as discussed at the last meeting. But I'll be back in time for bonfire night, so I'll call you and we can go up to Ali Pali for the display. It's been too long since we spent an evening together, and I'm sorry about that. I'm wondering if that's um, the Ravens of D. Is that what they're called? That's the lady who was um, their like operative or whatever that I've been in contact with. So let me just quickly check where I'm going. Um, yeah, I um, loaded. I had the foresight to back up my previous save from the previous game that you um, saw me uh, delete in the beginning. So I loaded that one up. Um, ended up dying with two survivors, but I got the petrol and I uh, plopped it in. In the correct order. And uh, the problem was that initially I um, I went to save the girl before um, plopping in the patrol, you know, in the when I get put into the kill all survivors uh, game show or whatever they're running there. I don't know what that pin in Brick Lane Markets uh, signifies. I have no idea. Um, but I'm going to Brick Lane Flats. Oh, I can't. There's no safe. I haven't unlocked the safe house there because I'm playing on a different save. There's a few inconsistencies in like the different equipment I have. Like I have a shovel now. I don't have it equipped, but I have the melee weapon shovel. It does more damage and has more reach, but I still got the rat killer equipped. Because yeah. It's just how I was uh, was raised. Um Anything else interesting that happened uh, in between the game-breaking glitch and uh, now? Nothing really. I mean, it doesn't feel as satisfying playing this game now that I like started up a, an old save and just was kind of dropped in. I mean, even if the save was I'd played for longer, but I was further back in the... Um, story or whatever I had less campaign progress I don't know it just uh, felt kind of like alien to me but I guess dying with two survivors kind of it just aired everything out clean slate and uh, now it's the adventure of Charlotte Lloyd let me just quickly have a look at Charlotte she is I think 32 years old She's 31 years old, dentist, a British citizen. Can we place people who aren't British citizens? That would be interesting. She has a score of 190, as far as I can see. She's killed six infected. And at this point, I've played as eight survivors, according to this save. And she has survived for 15 minutes. So, uh, let's see how... Because uh, I have a good feeling about Charlotte. I mean, I just used her to kill another player character with an AK-47. It was cold-blooded. She just, like, grabbed his backpack right from his, like, corpse -y body. Put her right on. She, she's not squeamish at all. I guess being a dentist, you're just kind of fucking ready for whatever. I mean, it was either suicide or the zombie apocalypse, and Scarlet Lloyd, no, not Charlotte Lloyd, not Scarlet Murray. Charlotte Lloyd lucked out.
I don't think I walked past the um, where I'm going. Have I have I introduced you guys to to what I'm doing here? Yeah, so I, I put the fuel on the generator, booted it up, everything worked out the way I think it's supposed to. I went to save the girl, got put into the kill survivors game show, whatever. That's also, I think, how everything's supposed to go. Then, um, I was kind of, I did that, I was left with nothing really to do except uh, finding the letters, the D letters. For the doctor. Oh god, that was a heinous hair cut. And uh, the only one I have left now is the one in Brick Lane because I uh, was fortunate and in loading my old save I uh, had to go and fetch the double XL backpack again. And um, Doing that, I uh, was lucky enough to stumble upon what would it be, the fifth uh, page of the D? I, it says I'm missing one, or I have to look for one, so I think I have six of them. Not quite sure. Let's see here. Need code. I should be... Uh should be uh, able to find a code here. I mean, if there is a code here in Anokin, I should be able to decipher it. But of course there isn't. Now there's just like those weird ass symbols. There's nothing for me to actually decipher here, is there? Like a pentagram or something. Nothing. They're so agile, these zombies. Like, they're not like the fast zombies in uh, Dawn of the Dead, the remake, but... They're like climby zombies. They can climb ladders. Look at them go. That's not a gas zombie, no. There we are. I was close. As far as I've been able to establish, zombies do not take fall damage. Sad but true. Who was that I just killed? Which one of the Spice Girls? It was not Naughty Spice or Scary Spice. Baby Spice. I just killed Baby Spice. Because it's... I'm in England, right? That's what's going on? As far as I've been able to, to gather this, that's where we are. Come on. Mid air. I'm fucking I'm ready. I'm I'm doing home runs here. So just line them up. Oh fuck. She can attack me, definitely. I fail. She didn't, but I felt like she could have. Yeah, there we go. Get the fuck out of here. I think I'm being a bit overzealous. But I still am just not too confident. That I, I won't just end up blowing myself up. Alright. Should be. Should be here somewhere. Shouldn't it? Did I just use a bunch of C4? To get an upgrade. I mean. Uh, it's 
Pretty sure this is where uh, D's manuscript page was going to be, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, just give me a second to just collect the, the shadow remnants of my self-confidence and uh, move on. Did I get something wrong here? Let's have a look. Yeah, I climbed up the wrong ladder there. Uh, Brick Lane Flats. That's that's where. So yeah. Was that some shotgun shells right there? Just just hang on. Be patient with me. Shotgun ammo. Good. So floaty. You just fall so slow in this game. Hey, it's great. I love it. Um. How do I have like an indefinite amount of C uh, C4? Because I picked up C4 from several several sources, but I know I've used more. I've used C4 more times than I picked it up. So <laughs> just all these places that kind of seem like they would be sealed off little secret areas. Like, right? I guess definitely not, but still. Uh. So where would I want to go then? Guess I'm moving on. I'm going further into this uh, apartment complex. And there's just clearly, like, there's the safe, uh, safe zone, safe house. I mean, I don't really know. Is there a point for me unlocking this at this point? I'll at least remove this manhole cover. I feel like that accomplished what I wanted to accomplish there. I don't feel like traveling through it is necessary. Come on. You got me good there. <laughs> eh. Never anything in that container. Let's just have a quick look. That's just the, the trash room. There's nothing in there. I remember from the last time I was there. Sorry. Could I have walked off at any of those floors to explore? Oh well. Still zombies on the dance floor. Firing speed upgrade, that's decent. 
That might be the first time I've looted a normal zombie for some, for like a firing speed upgrade or something like really useful like that. Maybe you should just backtrack, make sure there's no blockades or whatever. I need to use C4 to... But I don't know, like, maybe uh, this diary note or whatever is... Uh, it's inside of... Um, it's behind of, like, a keypad door. I think that pretty much confirms it. Oh, man. I wanted to put the music back on. Let's just keep going. This is a little boring, just backtracking through this area. It worked, like, once. I don't know if I'd say that it's this. It's as effective going through it again. Right out the gate. Boom. You got knocked the fuck out. Um. Nothing. I'm just gonna. Yep, nothing. Alright. <laughs> but yo, seriously though, I don't I really don't want to die right now in this place. Have to go over here with another character. Try to sort this nonsense out. This is not not my No. no. I feel like I missed something here. Definitely feel like I missed something here. Wasn't there one inside of the safe? There? Probably me just misremembering it. Probably just me misremembering it. Let's keep going then. Uh. Yeah, that was a whole load of just fucking nothing. That couldn't have been it. Am I gonna have to fucking like go to a walkthrough to figure this shit out? That was it. Honestly, don't know how to proceed from here beyond just doing it again. Great. Two. Is this gonna help me in any way? Probably not. Two, one. Two, one, nine. Two, one, nine, two. Let's go and open that fucking door then. Otherwise, I'll have to go to a safe area and, like, loop around. Go back into the front end of, uh, brick, brick lane flats. Two, one, nine, two. Let's get in and enjoy all of this toilet paper. And a place where I can save, I think. There's, there's nothing here. There's no point. Capacity upgrade. That's all right. It's a thing. I, I got a thing. Ah, fuck am I gonna do about brick lane flats, eh? 
Fucking. All right, hang on. I knew there was a reason that I unlocked the shortcut to Brick Lane Flats. Thank God I did. Well, now I'm just gonna walk around there for fucking hours looking for that one ladder. Or maybe there's like a box I can hack that will give me some sort of insight into where it is. Though I doubt it. I doubt it very much. It has to be in the office, doesn't it? I mean, where fucking else could it be? Oh man, you guys are still here, huh? I can upgrade my weapons like crazy, more than I could actually, would actually be able to upgrade them, but I can't find this fucking John D. page. It has to be in here. Hunting for food's a good idea, but don't come crying to me if that thing gives you indigestion, or worse. I, that was my second time through, and I could uh, still not find it. Guess I'll save before I go out. Handle this. Just a part of me is really fretful that the game is glitched out again. At this point, like, it doesn't take much for me to feel like all of a sudden things have just kind of come to a stop. So let's see here. There's, uh, no quest marker. So I go to Brick Lane Flats again. Oh, getting sick of killing zombies now. So sick of killing zombies. So yeah, that's the passageway that I opened initially. Just nothing. Not even like a ceiling texture. There's a zombie right there to my left. That pin would be helpful. If it wasn't for the fact that I have no idea what end where I am on the map. Oh god damn it. There we go, finally. Hmm. Can this be it then? God, I'm so hopeful. I'm gonna invest time into just trying to figure that out. It's probably not gonna be, it's probably just gonna be like a weapon upgrade or something. Oh, fuck it. This is, like, asking me an uncommon amount of shit here. 5904. Yeah, I checked that out online, and it was like, yeah, it's in the safe. So I went up again, and yeah, that's, uh... That's actually kind of cool. I would have never gotten that if I didn't look that up, though. I guess maybe eventually, but, like... Yeah, no, I don't I don't really have any excuses. Yeah, I, I looked that up to just be like, where is it? Is it in that room that I blew up with the C4? Sorry, it's just I felt like it had glitched out. 
I forgot the code. Hold on one second. I'm just happy that we're back on, on track with this. I'm not going to look it up any other things on the... Unless I have to. 5904. Oh my god. That That's kind of cool and great. But that's just... I would have never gotten that. I'm way too dumb. I was just like, oh, it's just another D location. It's an MP5 silenced submachine gun. I don't know why... It's the MP5. The best gun in the world for close crowd control. If you get my drift. This looks like it's another one of your ilk proper. Like he just decided to hole up in this bunker here. Oh god, that means that I am done with that quest. I just had to resort to a little bit of trickery, but... Fucking jeez. Oh, I went through this place three times. Just from one end to another, and then from that other end again back to the other end. Yeah, it was just... But finally... Charlotte Lloyd? She's been alive for way longer than she has any right to, just because I've been walking around here where it's relatively safe. So let's uh, get her... This is not the way I want to go. Get her back to the safe house. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you at the safe house. We're back in the safe house. Just gonna Keep plop some stuff. Nothing is really dead until you've blown it like the MP5. I can't fit that into the container. Oh, fuck. How much is the does the UMP do? 56. Yeah, I'd rather use the UMP. I don't see any reason to use the silencer. Ah. Uh, fuck me. So I guess I'll withdraw some uh, Molotovs. And plop the MP5 in. And yeah. A save before I head to the Buckingham Palace uh, bunker. Deliver these pages. Oh, feels good to finally be able to move on properly with uh, this game. Though I feel like if I encounter another game breaking glitch, it's going to take me a little bit to, to feel motivated again to pick it up. Oh, I'm ready to skip you. I'm ready to skip you. I'm just jamming the buttons. Ready to skip you. You got skipped. Don't even think about continuing. Uh, wait. Running into walls. That's, uh, that's a part of it. Got all of the pages for you, Doc. Give ladders. My goodness. Nice. Is that? <coughs> it is. All seven of these letters with the panacea code. <coughs> I can't thank you enough. Now I can begin work on the panacea. I'm sure I'll have it whipped up in no time. Thank you so much. Sure, you're gonna say something else at me, but no. Okay. Return to safe house restrooms. Okay. Well, that's... I can do that. Now it's giving me more mission markers. I feel pretty confident that we might get this boat into harbor. Get the ship to shore. <laughs> Skip it. Return to safe house there restrooms. Yeah. Christ, you have me worried being gone for so long. What the hell were you doing in 
Oh, oh, thank goodness. I have good news. The panacea is almost finished. <laughs> the bad news is, it's a vaccine, not a cure. You must come quickly. <laughs> Meet me at the entrance to the Royal Quarters. I have security clearance. <laughs> the palace. A doctor. That's what you've been going back for. Working with a bloody lab coat behind my back. How, how dare you? After all, I've warned you about trusting scientists. They started this mess, mucking about with viruses, playing God. One big experiment in the petri dish of life. And what did that quack sell you? A couple of aspirin? There is no cure, no panacea. Do you really think some lab coat could create a cure? And meanwhile, the safe house is vulnerable! You disappoint me. I thought we were partners. Prepper, out. Strange. That's so fucking weird, because that's what he told me. When I got the game breaking glitch. Because I finished the... Um, Survivor, kill all survivors challenge thing that the kill all survivors live the show that they have where I have to fight zombies and God knows um, Who's watching it really outside of those degenerates that you could hear over the loudspeaker or the PA or whatever um, And yeah, you saw it. I uh, got the trophy and then he was just like I don't want anything to do with you And I was just like what what? Why would he say that? And I thought it was because I had, um... Uh, I'd gone to save the girl instead of going back to refuel the generator. And he was upset with me because of that, but... Yeah, it seems like, um... Just, uh, the... Game parts got jumbled up and came out in the wrong order. And now we're getting them in the right order, I think. So, um... I'm excited for this. I just beefed up a little bit with that, uh... Machine gun. Should be ready for a bit more of, um... That music had me feeling like the world was gonna end, so... Wait, what? Sorry, just, uh... Oh, yeah, of course, there's a door right there. Sorry. I'm, uh... Throwing you in. Wait, what was that? Don't look like I can get in there. Was there anything of significance here? Seemingly not. I guess it's just there too. Maybe I could open that this entire time. Maybe I'm just being an idiot. Let's get going. Wait, am I being an idiot? Or, uh... I feel like I'm descending in the wrong area here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so he's a zombie now, and I have to go and kill him and get his, uh, head. You will launch the final sequence of zombie. Well, alright. Well, I hope you're ready uh, to see me launch the final sequence of this game. Oh, shit. In the next episode of me Let's Playing the PlayStation 4 game, Zombie. Um, I'm, I've been having a lot of fun. Despite all these game-breaking glitches, this feels like it's gonna end on a high note. Shit, that was... Uh, 
yeah, see you in the next episode, hopefully. I'll still be there, let's playing that game. That was fucking weird, the electrical zombie just coming at me like that. Fucking what?